Hello and welcome back to another episode of Tropical 6. Last episode we were finishing our beautiful tourism area here that is just now melting together kind of like with the city. Um, we still have a couple of things here that don't look so good like this apartment here. Let's just upgrade this away as well. So we do have then two of those beautiful towers here in the center. Don't worry, I'm not going to spam everything with these towers now as it's not that great looking. But still, occasionally, we also have those buildings there and those ugly tenements. I don't like them at all. So these are the, the buildings that I really don't like. One of the few that I really don't like. Those uh, modern apartments have now another upgrade available that I've researched. And this one requires 30 megawatt and less electrical power. Having this on all buildings is significantly reducing the network. Um, and, well, maximizing energy output, increasing uh, efficiency and stuff like that. That's what this episode is all about. High tech industry we want to have a look at what we can do now with all the means of the modern age enough energy and enough money one very very vital thing that we have one very very big problem that we have right now is farm goods right so the cigar factories lack tobacco the um cannery lacks uh, fish or pineapple the i think the car manufacturers here they like rubber uh, rubber that is running out all the time so what is going on here my plantations it doesn't matter how good i boost them they're losing efficiency because we're basically using the same crop all the time even though i have the multiculture uh, crop available um this is really bad so the only option that i would have here is to change the crop all the time um or and that is a big or we are just totally getting independent of crop of crop fertility soil and stuff like that and how do we do that well we've got a new building for that the hydroponic plantation cultivates a chosen type of crop to produce the corresponding goods independent from the local crop condition it re requires a lot of energy and it requi requires educated workers but we have all of that um, and it's this building here and we can basically put them all together in a block and they can all work at 100 percent efficiency all the time to produce our crops we no longer really need those plantations awesome now where should we place them of course in our little industry district we have a couple of plantations here at the moment uh we do have a metro station here so i would like to now get into yeah well basically destroying all of them here this is uh sugar sugar tobacco tobacco corn um and sugar so sugar tobacco and corn right so that just that we remember it off they go bye bye and the tannery, uh, the tannery is producing us the ladder. The ladder we still need. I might actually move this one somewhere else. With the tannery over here for now. This very ugly building there. Um, and in here we are now going to have those hydroponic farms. And they're really, really great. I gotta say that. They're beautiful. Um, and they're high tech, of course. Of course, we have this bus stop right here. So I need to... I need to move the bus stop here <laughs> so i can have my little crossing there that we need let's finish this one perfect uh, i like my nuclear power station there and now we can place these hydroponic plantations let's have a couple of them here i'm going to move my lump mill to look like that right so we can still squeeze in one more in this area And we're going to continue with that on the other side as well. By the way, they're not that cheap. They're quite expensive. And yes, I've chosen corn now, but we can change this then afterwards. Right, so there we got the first ones. And we could just continue with that. And I am going to continue with that because we really want to produce a lot of these crops. So there we have a couple more. Also, they require less less space, far less space. Uh, another big advantage of that um another teamster office because we're going to see a lot of increasing here now with that so let's have another teamster office here um and i'm just not avaricious so let's just have another um teamster office here as well plus since we're getting a lot of industry done here we might also be thinking about a parking deck at this point right allows rich citizens and old tourists to access and park cars or taxis um, this one here is pretty good, at, uh, especially once you have better paying um, workers, right? So we might just have this one here, the toy workshop. Let's move this somewhere else. In fact, I might actually destroy it at some point. There we have the space now. Just beside our metro station there, we have something for people to travel here, right? Otherwise, they would have to go through the grass. And once the rubble is gone, 
Another thing that I'm going to have here is now the parking deck that we can squeeze in just very conveniently into this area here. Right, I just like to have a few parks there again, because as always, it just fits in to have that in between all of that. Let's just quick build this one. There we have it. It's already got a worker. We have an upgrade. Decreases the crime safety penalty because we have camera surveillance. Of course, I'm not going to be greedy about it. And as we can see, people are already using it, right? So there's already a car going out and back, back and forth. And I just hope that my workers like to use this one, especially to get to all of these factories, right? Metro station stuff. Now, the parking deck, let's have this in several locations of my city. Over here, it makes also sense to have one close to my tourists and stuff like that. Um, so let's go for that. Tourists like to use taxis, and the taxis are coming out of that. Over there. Perfect. And perhaps also another one further up here somewhere. There we have a bit of space. Close to all of that industry here. Another parking deck. I might also just have one here then in the area, but well, that's for later. Righto, lots of construction. We also have the first of them now finished. As we can see, they're working at a good efficiency right off the bat. And let's change the resources. One of them is corn, that is fine. Um, then we had tobacco. Let's have two of them going with tobacco. In fact, let's make three of them going with tobacco. All of them here. Right. Um, this one here is corn. Very good, it already has that. Um, then we have 92% efficiency. They, of course, consume quite some electricity. But, and that's the cool thing, is we can further make them optimal. It increases the efficiency by 50% if we have the extensive fertilization on them. How crazy is that? Let's just add this one to all of those buildings. This is adding a whopping 50% on top of that. So we are really, really pushing out tobacco here now. Um, decreases the upkeep of nearby ranches. Yeah, we don't have that at the moment. Righto, so that's coming along. Um, I might now... Oh yeah, and lots of trucks as we can see in the area. We also have another thing for the ranches, and that is the automated range or the factory ranches. Grows a chosen type of farm animal to produce milk, meat, wool, heights, and blah blah blah. Um, requires corn for feeding the animals, and it's, well, not depending anymore on its surrounding, right? So it's just a factory, really. Let's also have this one. We have still pineapple there. Um, I'm going to have one of these for pineapple anyway once they're finished. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that wrench. Of this wrench here. Of this wrench here. Um, and we are going to move these houses there. I'm going to move them further down here. By the way, those wrenches there. Let's also get rid of them. I'm going to get rid of all of these old buildings here now. Right? So we don't need them anymore. I love it. I love getting to the old, uh, to the modern times. By the way, there we have an iron mine. Let's just modernize this one. So that it's looking proper too. And let's also increase its efficiency. Now, those here, I can now move. I'm going to move them. Yep, they can really be just here. It's not that far away still, right? Along the road. And here we have now plenty of space for all of that. The banana and the banana, the are <laughs> they can both also be converted into modern plantations. Healthcare happiness, praise the capitalists, no one. And I'm also promising nothing. You people will get nothing from me. By the way, El President is looking fantastic after all these years. Over 100 years in power and he hasn't changed one bit. It was your trust that made it possible. Now, trust uh, there we have the locks. El I'm President just thinking about this road here, if we really do need that. We'll just see. Factory wrench, there we have it. They're quite huge, as we can see. Um, there we have an old-style wrench still. Factory wrench here, and another one then here once that rabble is gone. By the way, this coffee plantation, 10% efficiency. Let's get rid of that. For the many fulfilling jobs you create for my people and your progressive attitude. So this is going to be our food supply, our food powerhouse here, fully um, developed, of course, as well. Also has every kind of parking deck. As we can see, lots of people are using that and lots of cars are going towards it. Perhaps I underestimated the parking deck for quite some time now. 
or for, for too long, right? It seems to be really valuable in that case. Now, we have the plantations. Now, all of them have been built, and depending on their crops, whatever they have, they also have different up, uh, upgrades, right? The sugar, for example, has the fiber fertilizations, so increases the efficiency of nearby plantations and pl hydroponic plantations by 10% up to 20%. Rather good, so we can have this, and it's actually affecting all of them, right? So it's further boosting the efficiency. The corn has increases efficiency by 1% every month up to a cap of 20. Of course, we're going with that as well. Um, and the rubber has the amount of chops positions by 1, increases the efficiency by 20 on top of that. By the way, do we have now the tobacco is working at 150% efficiency now. Pineapple increases efficiency of nearby pineapple plantations. Let's have both of them working on that. I think we have two. And they're boosting each other now, right? So that's our food supply now being, well, really, really pushing out, hopefully, all my factories, right? Two of them are rubber. That is for the, um, the cars. And as we can see, they're already fully working. They also don't need that many people working in them. We could only now have something else here, the work mode from natural to almost free of nature. <laughs> Power is increased, but the efficiency is also increased. 12 buildings, uh, wait a second, for 12 buildings changing that, nah, let's not do this, I don't think it's worth it that much since we're already pushing out a lot. Now the animal farms are coming along, the only thing they need is corn, so we're consuming a lot of corn here. Uh, we're producing corn here and here. Corn is also needed for my people, so we have to monitor this one. I just hope that we have enough. Over here, we also have the chocolate factories that don't have sugar. Um, the sugar we're now really producing a lot. Look at that efficiency, 19% only. Cocoa is at 34% efficiency. So it's really, we're really done with uh, those ugly plantations. I no longer need them. The rubber we have up there, by the way, now that we're getting rid of them, I also didn't need that ranch anymore, those houses here anymore. Plus, I can also say goodbye to that bus line that we have there. Um, set the starting bus stop. Yep, we can now have a new bus line with that somewhere over... Hmm, let's make it town center somewhere. Or for the tourists. It might be good for the tourists to have a bus station here now, right? So somewhere here. And the stop bus would be somewhere in the city center. Or close to the, the nightclubs and stuff like that. Something nice for tourists there as well. We don't need that for our workforce at the moment. Now, hmm, the textile mill. Yep, wool is coming in. Very good. We should get lots of wool now, thanks to our factory ranches there. So we have the sheep over there. They are producing it, and llama produce wool for us, right? All of them have corn, so we're producing enough for now. That's good to see. And let's also have a look at their upgrades. So it removes the drop position and increases efficiency by 10% for those. And for the cattle, increases efficiency of nearby plantations and hydroponic plantations by 10%. The bonus does not stack. In addition, the ranch produces manure as if it were running the pasture prohibition work mode. Ah, what the heck. Let's do this one. Also increases efficiency for the sheepies. Now that is some modern modern production that I like a lot. We have finished another trade route. Um, canned food, jewelry, plastics, cheese, boats. I have not seen cars in such a long time now. And it's still not there. Nope. There's still no cars that we could sell. No one likes our cars. Canned food, cigars. Do we have cigars? We don't. Cigars, we produce a lot. Let's go with the highest contract. That is a nice price increase. Now, in here, we have the waste treatment facility. As we can see, it is working now quite fine. Um, we could also say generates trace amounts of aluminium, rubber, uranium, and nickel based on efficiency. Very good. Let's go with that. Um, there we have the garbage dump. Let's get rid of that. We no longer need such an ugly building here. Instead, we are left with the canneries and stuff. The canneries, since they're a bit older, I would like to move them a bit further away. So somewhere over there, perhaps. Right. So one here beside the plastic and the other cannery then just beside it. Now, we have a bit of space here, and I would like to use the space for high-tech industry. Oh, by the way, my cigar factories. Let's also move them. We should still have a bit of space somewhere, right? Hmm, no idea right now. Where should we have the cigar factories? Over there. There is space for that. It's still close enough, right? It's still 
close to everything and still close to my cargo airport, which is the important thing. And here now we can add our high tech industry. Let's have a look at that. We have the electronics. I'm all in for the electronics. We produce gold, we produce plastic, so we can definitely build that. Um, and since we really do need a lot of electronics, I might, I might go for two of them. So we can add two here right away. Behind it, we're just going to have some smaller parkies here. Right, so that it looks proper. We have a restaurant in the area. We have a fast food. Those factory workers do like to eat, perhaps. So let's also offer them something to drink and eat. Um, let's have another a fast food joint right here. Oh, by the way, we don't have one here yet, right? Nope, we don't. So let's have a fast food restaurant Look joint here as well. Do they still have a place in our lives? So this is the electronics and the other thing, we still have lots of that. We would have the fashion company, so pro processes cloth and leather to produce apparel. Very expensive once again, also takes a lot of energy and it's just absolutely fancy looking. So I'm going with two of them right here. Alrighty, let's have this road going down here. Next up, let's have a look. Smart furniture, battery plant, a drone factory. It produces drones of any type. Each drone um, requires different resources to build. Completed logistic drones fly to where they are needed autonomously. Isn't that cool? Let's have a drone factory. Um, and yeah, let's have it here, right? In this spot where we can squeeze it in. The drone factory. The smart furniture produces... Well, we would have this one then here. Furniture and electronics to produce smart furniture. Let's have one of these. And we can squeeze it in just nicely in this area too. Battery plant, nickel and aluminium. We would need both of them. Pharmaceutical. Processes oil to produce pharmaceuticals. Definitely something we can do. Oh my goodness, it's huge. Let's have two of them because I think they are totally worth it. And then we still have a bit of space here. I hope I'm not overdoing myself here. Right, so we might still need something else in between the smart furniture. I could just do it here or the battery plant. Oh my goodness, it's even bigger. No idea. I guess we have a lot of construction to finish first. I'm also going to squeeze in another bus garage just here. Why? Because I want to have a bus stop here by the metro station that we have. Reason for that is I think those people still have to work, uh, have to travel too far um, for the stations, right? So over here we might then have another bus stop for all of those um, plantations. Because what I can see is here there's lots of people walking from over there to there. And this is just a long distance um, to walk and to make this more efficient. Let's have the bus working in this area too. So the bus should be coming out then, rather soon. And after a bit of time, we have the first factories finishing up. So here the electronics are working now. Gold and plastic, they both have. Ah, gold, perhaps not that much. Producing electronics for us. Um, and here we have the fashion company now producing apparel out of leather and cloth and both of that we have plenty of this one was just finished this one already has plenty of that in store um, we could of course com well further optimize them for example factory outlet increases the housing quality of residential buildings within a radius of 12 grid cells by five percent this is really cool so how far is that it's fine so let's have this one um, the electronics factory can be boosted increases production by 50 percent but it requires an additional 100 megawatt of power nope can do now the drone factory the smart furniture studio that has a lot of very rich people in it it's i guess it's very expensive this one here um and it's getting in now the furniture electronics are still waiting there we have them and we're producing smart furniture now let's just have a look at their building requires more power for 10 percent more energy uh, efficiency let's not do this for now i guess we're fine as it is Fancy houses here. The drone factory, batteries and aluminium. Alright, so there we have this one. Logistics drone. Default work mode uses battery and aluminium to produce logistics drones. We don't have that yet. Um, and there is the pharmaceutical company. So they require oil and we should have that. By the way, we have an oil over there. Right, so there we have the oil well. That, yeah, we can't increase the efficiency of that. Anyway... If I want more oil, then well, we can have now the offshore park. I, I'm going to try it with the offshore park once again, the oil rig. There we have it. 
It, w it failed last time. I don't know why. So let's just build this one here. There we have it. People should be working here. And the building cannot catch fire anymore. I guess this was one of the problems. And it's producing oil right away. Interesting. How do we get the oil then to my mainland? Alright, it's being transported by boat um, from a freighter um, going right to the dock. And over there goes into the storage and hopefully being then transported to my factories where it's needed. So this one here and this one. Alright, so both of them can work for us producing pharmaceuticals that we can hopefully also sell again for some nice prices. Now, we still have one more thing here and that is the battery. Oh, we have a power shortage. Now we don't, but it's close. I guess we are going to need another nuclear power plant. Can I move this one to a better location? Um, I might just move this one over there for now. Till I know what I'm going to do with it. Um, because I want to have a second nuclear power plant here as well. So this one. Producing us some nice energy. It has some nice sound to it. Oh, by the way, this was not close to the street there. Now we have it. Perfect. Let's just have a small park behind it. Just for those workers here. And close to the tannery there. Very good. Just lacking some uranium now. It's easy to find, right? Uranium. So that shouldn't be a problem. By the way, we have those two Teamster offices here. Let's also upgrade all of them to have more jobs available. Um, also going to increase the wages of the Teamster offices so they're a bit more efficient. And the work mode needs to be... Ah, it's already right. Alrighty, and after a bit of time, most of them are working now. So my electronics are working, the fashion companies are working, and also my two pharmaceuticals are working, having enough oil. The only problem here is, first of all, not a drone. Yes, I know. Um, and the other one is the furniture studio. That is because there's not enough furniture. Even though we have the planks, I guess the workers are just not going there. No reason why not. And boom! Also, we are millionaires. We have one million on the bank account. So we're making a nice profit there, I guess. But it's still not enough, of course. What do you want when you have a lot of money? You want more money. And that's exactly what our goal here is. Um, now we get the nutcracker. Not, 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 not. Can we do something here still? Worker require high school education. Decreases plank consumption. That sounds good. And it's a cat software. And the building requires more. But the efficiency is increased by 100%. Yes. Let's go with that. We have still a very nice network balance now that the second nuclear uh, generator has been built as well, the nuclear power plant. So, furniture is now being produced. It just needs to get over here to my smart furniture home with the hip and comfy work mode. Those are working now too. I th still think we don't have enough Teamsters, right? So I still think we need to upgrade this even more. I'm seeing a lot of um, big storages here. The plantations though have zero. Right, which is always good because that means it's getting taken care of. This is a bit more. This is a bit more, and over here we have then. Oh yeah, lots of cocoa for the the chocolate factories. They have. They don't have something right now. All right, so here we might still need to work on something. And yes, of course, this is looking. This area is looking a bit neglected at the moment since we are doing all of that here. So far, it's a good millionaire. We have a nice high-tech industry now working for us that is only ramping up at this point, but hopefully we will see the fruits of that soon. So far, it's a good. Stay tuned.